so Seth, w welcome to the butchers. Oh, welcome thank to Hong you. Kong. Love it's to great to have you here. Um, but tell me, how did you get into this? What, what, how, <laughs> what, how did you get yeah. into, into this food? Business? So, uh, you know, I started a company called Honest Tea 20 years ago now in the States, and it's become the best-selling brand of organic bottled tea. But I've always been, uh, my family and I have been vegetarian for 13 years. No and way. so we've always been somewhat dissatisfied with the offerings on the market. And about, uh, I guess, eight years ago now, my wife came across an article about this company getting started, Beyond Meat, that was seeking to perfectly replicate the taste and texture of meat and do it with plant-based ingredients. And I remember my wife at the time saying, this would be a gift because although we're you know, happy to be vegetarian, we've, like I say, been dissatisfied with some of the offerings. And so I reached out, literally sent an email to info at beyondmeat.com and said, you know, hey, if there's any way I can help, I believe in what oh, you're I'm, doing. Oh, the, CEO, <laughs> the CEO answered right back. He said, wow, I'd love to have you join. And I became an investor and then a board member. And it's been such a wonderful journey because, you know, we're on a continuous improvement track. But what we're really doing is finding ways to, to take ingredients from plants and assemble them in a way that perfectly replicates the sensory aspects, the taste and the texture and the aroma of animal-based meat. Okay. And what percentage would you say of your market in the U.S. is food service, yeah. i.e. restauranters, compared to retail? Is it mainly retail? You or? know, we started in retail. It's a chain called Whole Foods, which is a great, you know, Love the it. leading natural foods yeah. chain in the U.S., and that was a great place to start. <laughs> um, and so that's still, the retail is still the larger part of our business, but the the, the food service is, is exploding right now because we've gone into restaurants that uh, uh, where they taste it and, and, and then it just continues to grow. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this year, 50% of our business becomes food service, you know, restaurants as well. That's really interesting. Um, so it's, likewise in Hong Kong, we, we were approached um, by Green Monday, who is your, your, your partner here. And, and they asked us, which was very insightful, I have to admit, for them to come to a company called the Butchers Club and say, do you guys want to do a vegan, uh, a, a vegan meat product? So it's, it's an interesting dynamic that uh, your partners Green Monday came to us last year and asked us if we were interested in, in doing this as a, as a food service partner because as the Butchers Club, obviously you would imagine us not to be interested in that, in that at all, but, but something about it rang, uh, rang true to me and I, I thought we'd give it a go. I love it. I mean, that's exactly the vision we have, which is we don't want to just be selling to the vegans and vegetarians. And I, I, I have great you know, admiration and uh, appreciation for those folks who are, but to really build this business, we want to be available and appealing to, to the, uh, call it the flexitarian, someone who eats meat, but also wants to have some plant-based options. So I love the format you've yeah. uh, provided yeah. for the burger and, and, and that it's available on your menu. Well, what we, what we did uh, for, for our customers here in Hong Kong, we kind of took the approach, okay, let's do a version of an existing burger. Yeah. And so our, our best-selling burger is called the Classic. Yeah. And it's got bacon, cheese, dry-aged beef. But we did a, we did a vegan version of that where we, we took the Beyond uh, Meat Patty, we added... Um, uh, a beetroot crisp instead of I love bacon. It. That's great. And uh, a, a vegetarian cheese, and then we use a vegetarian mayonnaise, and um, and the, the idea is it looks exactly the same. Yeah. It tastes very similar, and it allowed uh, vegetarians and, and vegans to come to our to the butchers club, yeah. which they would never have been seen That's dead in before. <laughs> and and then they, we found that they're coming in, groups of people some vegans, some vegetarians, some meat eaters, they're all eating together and yeah, happy, happy, yeah. happy people. Well, and I love that you've got the meat eaters can be, uh, still come to the butcher's club, but mix it up a little bit, you know, try something new too, and that's fun as well. Well, and some of them, they're trying it, you know, yeah. even today um, at lunchtime, we, we, we had people trying this, this product. There's, there's curiosity. Yes, there is. Particularly because it looks exactly the same. Yeah. Um, and that's our marketing campaign, spot the difference. Right. So, so. We've developed, and, and uh, you and I are going to have a, a practice cooking it later, but we've developed another version of our, um, of a, a very popular menu item of ours called the Wu-Tang style. <laughs> All right, and the Wu-Tang style with meat is dry-aged beef, spicy kimchi, the patties fried in sriracha, um, cheese, sweet potato, and cupine mayonnaise. Wow. So it's very, uh, it's very Asian. Yeah, yeah. It's very spicy, and, and it works really well for us. But we're going to try and uh, take that, 
mix it up a little bit and do a vegan version. So same Beyond Meat um, patty, burger. We're gonna fry it in sriracha, which is vegan. And um, we're gonna top it with, uh, with vegetarian cheese. Yeah. And then we've got some vegan uh, kimchi. Now, not many people know that kimchi historically has uh, fermented fish in it. So oh. that was, we, we've, oh, I didn't uh, know we, that. we yeah, found okay. a version that has no, no animal or fish products in it at all. And then it's um, a tempura batter made with soda water and, and, um, um, and flour uh, with sweet potato. And then a, a vegan mayonnaise as well. Love it. On top. I can't so, wait. <laughs> it sounds no, it's, delicious. Uh, I've tried it. It's delicious. <laughs> it's good. And uh, hopefully, this is because I can tell you right now, the Beyond Classic sells 10% of our entire menu, wow. which is totally That's amazing. That's wonderful. That's, totally amazing. Yeah. So you never know, this might take another 10% um, or create a new, a love new uh, an additional 10%. I, I really love the way you're innovating and, and uh, you know, open to, to this concept. And that's what we hope, you know, over time that'll happen across you know, every restaurant, that they, everyone sort of sees the, the chance that uh, it's a continuum. I mean, you're, you know, you want to provide a, pro a satisfying protein meal and whether it's from an animal or from a plant, as long as it tastes delicious, which I know you have a high standard for, yeah. and, and is accessible and affordable, why not do it? Now, I remember the question, I'm guessing everyone asks you this, it's a, it's a threefold question. Um, have you met Leonardo DiCaprio? I have. Have you met Bill Gates? I have not. And can you bring them here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, no. <laughs> no, but uh, they, they've been wonderful supporters. Uh, really appreciate the, the mission and the taste of the product. You know, that's the thing here is if it doesn't taste good, we don't get to have those conversations. Yeah. So we've got to have a great tasting burger. Um, they may come here on their own. And if they do, I'm sure they would love the chance to. Uh, Maybe drop a hint. <laughs> I'm happy to drop a hint. <laughs> I'll pick them up from the attic. Yeah, that, that, may, that, may, <laughs> that may make the difference. <laughs> yeah. It'll be great to have them here. But, um, but let's, let's do that. So what's next? So you've got Beyond Burger. What, yeah. What's, uh, what's, what's next for you guys? So we have a product we've just launched in the U.S. called Beyond Sausage. No and it, yeah, so uh, I grew up not eating much sausage because uh, we were kosher, but uh, now we have a way, uh, I've tasted the sausage, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And the key with sausage is, the, it's the casing. So with the animal-based sausage, you use the, the, the intestine, well, that's not an option for us. you use a collagen? We have an algae-based al algae okay. uh, product that we're able to use, and it crisps up just the same way, and it, it retains the product, but lets the fat still, you know, sizzle and cook, and uh, it's juicy and uh, delicious, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I've got some ideas for a hot dog. Yeah, coming. exactly. So fun. It's, it's, it's really... And you can cook it on a barbecue on Absolutely, a yeah. It cooks on a grill, it chars up, it gets the same char marks that you would with a, the animal-based version. And it's, it's, uh, it's based on the same kind of protein? Same that... protein, a little bit of different assembly. It's actually yeah. got some potato protein in it, where it, the burger has a Canadian yellow pea. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, some potato protein as well, and, uh, and some rice protein as well. So when are we going to be able to get that in Hong Kong? Uh, before the end of the year. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm all over it. I'm already <laughs> thinking of a, of a recipe for, um, for, for, a, for a, a Beyond hot dog. It'll be fun. Yeah? yeah. We call it the missing link. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So if, if any of the, the, the guys, whether you be vegetarian, vegan, or a meat eater, um, get yourself down to the Butcher's Club and try this Beyond Wu-Tang. Um, you're going to be surprised. And if you order it once, I've got a feeling you're going to order it again. So I've never had a Wu-Tang burger before, but I have to tell you that I was blown away by the taste and the flavor combinations of the Beyond Wu-Tang here at the Butcher's Club.